Good morning, happy Easter. Christ is risen. Let us all rise and begin our celebration.
Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We gather on this beautiful Easter morning to celebrate the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. So I welcome you and all of your families to this celebration. I would like to just say a few words of greeting to our Spanish-speaking members. Queridos amigos, Feliz Domingo de Pascua a todos ustedes y sus familias. Hoy celebramos la resurrección de Jesús, quien es el que nos lleva por gracia a través de la muerte y la vida eterna. Que este día sea una benedicción para ti. Cristo ha resucitado. Alleluia. Let us take a moment to prepare our hearts to celebrate the sacred mysteries by acknowledging our sins. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Having asked for God's mercy, we sing God's praise. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. Receive our prayer. You are 
seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Let us pray. O God, who on this day, through your only begotten Son, have conquered death and unlocked for us the path to eternity, grant, we pray, that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may through the renewal brought by your Spirit rise up in the light of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Lectura del libro de los hechos de los apóstoles. En aquellos días Pedro tomó la palabra y dijo, Ya saben ustedes lo sucedido en toda Judea, que tuvo principio en Galilea, después del bautismo predicado por Juan, como Dios ungió con el poder del Espíritu Santo a Jesús de Nazaret, y como éste pasó haciendo el bien, sanando a todos los oprimidos por el diablo, porque Dios estaba con él. Nosotros somos testigos de cuanto él hizo en Judea y en Jerusalén. Lo mataron cogándolo de la cruz, pero Dios lo resucitó al tercer día y conocedió verlo, no a todo el pueblo, sino únicamente a los tes testigos que él de antemano había escogido. A nosotros que hemos comido y bebido con él después de que resucitó o recitó de entre los muertos. Él nos mandó predicar al pueblo y dar testimonio de que Dios lo ha constituido juez de vivos y muertos. El testimonio de los profetas es unánime, que cuantos creen en él reciben por su medio el perdón de los pecadores. pecados. Palabra de Dios. Te alabamos, Señor. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. For his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, His mercy endures forever. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The right hand of the Lord has struck with power. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. This 
is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, if then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what is above, not of what is on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, your life, appears, then you too will appear with him in glory. The word of the Lord. Right. To the Paschal victim, give thankful praise. Christ ever sinless, his sheep now he saves. Death and life contended, in dreadful strife, death did not hold him, immortal his life. Mary speak confessing what you have seen, Christ who lies empty where once he had been. Angels bright confirming, shroud laid aside, he goes to Christians sing his glory with every breath. Sing of his kingdom, victorious or death. Jesus grant us mercy, new life from heaven. Christ ever reigns, alleluia, amen. <clears throat> A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Salome brought spices so that they might go and anoint him. Very early when the sun had risen on the first day of the week, they came to the tomb. They were saying to one another, who will roll back this stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? When they looked up, they saw that the stone had been rolled back. It was very large. On entering the tomb, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, clothed in a white robe, and they were utterly amazed. He said to them, do not be amazed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, the crucified, 
He has been raised. He is not here. Behold the place where they laid him, but go and tell his disciples and Peter, he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him as he told you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Last week, we reflected on how two days before Jesus died, an unnamed woman stepped out of line and anointed Jesus. In her, Jesus found understanding, a thing the other disciples, especially St. Peter, rarely had to offer. She knew that Jesus was the Messiah and that he was about to suffer and die. She also knew that his suffering and death were an essential part of his mission. For months, Jesus, uh, for months prior to Jesus' death, he had been teaching that his dying had to be held together with his rising. Further, this was not only true for him, it was also true for them and us. None but the unnamed woman understood. The, the other disciples felt that the path of suffering was incompatible with the promise of glory. Three women are about to get a lesson in dying and rising. Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Salome. They went to anoint the body of Jesus. Now that Jesus' life was over, their love draws them to the tomb to fulfill the rituals of love and grief. The women are very practical. They had seen that a large stone had been rolled across the mouth of the tomb. They knew that they needed help. They asked, who will roll back the stone for us from the entrance of the tomb? This question has symbolic meaning that has echoed across the centuries. Who will help us understand how to enter the death and resurrection of Jesus? How are we to be buried with Christ so as to rise with him? We all must enter the tomb. But how do we also enter resurrection? An unnamed man, an unnamed young man, is waiting inside to answer these questions. Grace has already rolled back the stone, and the women are drawn in. Lesson one, do not be alarmed. Fear gets in the way of understanding. Take a deep breath and listen. The young man is there to help them and us find the crucified one. Lesson two, Jesus is not in the tomb. See for yourselves. Jesus will not be found 
among the dead. He has risen. Lesson three, go to Galilee and meet Jesus just as he instructed you to do before he died. Galilee is where it all began. The original place of preaching, teaching, and healing. Go and begin again. But this time, the risen Christ will be with you just one step ahead. Dying and rising must be held together. This is the divine plan. Jesus' resurrection reveals that death and resurrection is the very identity of creation. Death and resurrection is always drawing us in. Christ is drawing us in, closer to God and eternity. The women then fled, trembling. Remembering that Jesus' resurrection struck his followers with panic helps us to be aware of our own fear. Fear of the unknown. Fear of a world that we cannot control or understand. Once we acknowledge our fear, we become free to set our faces into the wind, to take up our cross and follow Jesus. Don't be afraid. Jesus is always just one step ahead of us. Dear sisters and brothers, through the Paschal mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism so that we may walk with him in newness of life. And so now that our Lenten observance is concluded, let us renew the promises of holy baptism by which we once renounce Satan and his works and promise to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. And so I ask you, do you renounce sin so as to live in the freedom of God's children? I do. Do you renounce the lure of evil so that sin may have no mastery over you? I do. Do you renounce Satan, the author and prince of sin? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins, keep us by his grace in Christ Jesus our Lord for eternal life. Amen. Glory springs of our birth.
blood of God's riches, poured on the earth. We are born from the darkness and clothed in the light. We are bathed in the glory of God. Fountains of mercy, grace flowing free.
With Easter joy, let us now bring our prayers to the Lord. For Christians throughout the world, especially those dwelling in countries antagonistic to Christianity, may they celebrate this holy feast in safety. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For nations threatened by and recovering from acts of terror, may hope, peace, and love prevail against every act of violence and hatred. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who mourn the loss of a loved one, especially parents, mourning the death of a child, may they find solace in God's saving power and endless compassion. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those in the hospital, especially Angie Bauer, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are sick, especially those with the coronavirus, may they be restored to full health. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, especially Bob Allen and Officer William Evans, welcome them into your eternal kingdom with joy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our community, in keeping with the Feast of Easter, may we be infused with a joy that never ends. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. On this most holy day, O Lord, our God, through the triumph of your only begotten Son, you have shattered the gates of death and opened the way to everlasting life. Grant, we beseech you, that we who celebrate the festival of the Lord's resurrection may rise to a new and glorious life through the quickening power of your spirit. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Exultant with paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished through Christ our Lord. Amen. As we offer our Easter prayer of thanksgiving, 
I invite everyone to think of something in your heart that you're grateful for this day, and that, and as we pray, it's to lift that up. Uh, I know that a lot of people are meeting with their families for the first time in a year um, over this weekend because of the vaccine, so that'd be certainly certain certainly something to be thankful for to the Lord God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Mm -hmm. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. The Lord is risen to life. The Lord is risen to life. The Lord has conquered sin and death and brings us back. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life 
and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Jesus taught us to ask for our daily bread, that is, the Eucharist. And so we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Peace. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Bless those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. In memory of Jesus, we take and need this bread. In memory of Jesus, we drink this cup in memory of Jesus we take and eat all in memory of him the body of Christ Amen. 
of life. You who come to me shall not hunger. You who believe in me shall not thirst. No one can come to me unless the Father beckons and I will The bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. And you who eat of this bread, you shall live forever. You shall live forever. And I will Unless you eat of the flesh of the Son of Man and drink of his blood and drink of his blood, you shall not have life within you. I am the resurrection, I am the life, you who believe in me, even though you die, you shall live forever, and I will Yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, who have come into the world, and I will is my flesh for the life of the world and you who eat of this bread you shall live forever you shall live forever and i will
Let us pray. Look upon your church, O God, with unfailing love and favor, so that renewed by the Paschal mysteries, she may come to the glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. As you go forth today, I ask God's blessing upon all of you and your families, no, no matter where they may be, May we soon be past this coronavirus when we can all join together once again as a single community. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God, alleluia, alleluia. Thank you for your